I've been working on this project lately and I need to get a new drive. I need one that's fairly large, portable, and durable. I have one of these Lacey drives I really like and I want to find a solid state version. But for some reason they're really prohibitively expensive. Anywhere from 500 to 1000 US dollars. And for no real reason. Solid state drives have come down in price so much over the last 12 months. I mean, they're great drives, but they're nothing fancy. So I thought, well, how much does a regular solid state drive cost? It's significantly lower. Why don't we just make one? I mean, I guess technically I'm not making it. This is the one that I have right now, four terabyte hard drive. I really like it because it's got that silicone bumper, keeps it in place and protects the drive. This is the one that I bought. It was a super cheap, just one terabyte hard drive version. So I also bought a solid state drive, also a terabyte, but they're both SATA drives. So what we're gonna do is take it apart, swap the drives, put it all back together. The bumper isn't even adhesive, it's just kind of stretched over the enclosure. There's a little hole and we can take it right off. And then underneath you can see it's just a plain old enclosure. So something that's immediately noticeable here is that this is significantly thinner than the 4 terabyte hard drive version. So what could be happening is there could be two two and a half inch drives inside the 4 terabyte version that are connected together in a RAID. I mean it could be one large drive but hard to say for sure without taking it apart. So what we can see here that's interesting is that these are T9 Torx security screws, which is kind of unfortunate because the four terabyte version is just regular Phillips screws. So I have a T9 Torx driver, but not the security version. So we're gonna see if I can make this work. As long as the peg doesn't stick up too much, I should be able to get this loose here. What? Good job. So what you'll notice is that the hard drive enclosure slides right out once we remove the four mounting screws. This cover is just a piece of aluminum that protects the drive. The drive itself is just sitting in this piece of plastic. We're going to take a tool called the spudger, which is made of plastic, so it doesn't damage any of these sensitive components. We're just going to add a little bit of pressure between the controller and the hard drive. Just pop it out of this enclosure here. And look at that. After all that trouble, it was a Seagate drive. A lot of these fancy brands don't even make their own hard drives. They just make the enclosure and the branding. You can see it's got standard SATA connectors, just like any other drive. So we can just throw in an internal hard drive. Warranty void if seal's broken. Well, can't send this back in for repairs now. So here's the new solid state drive we're gonna put in. You'll notice the SATA connectors are exactly the same. You can see there, that's the whole external drive. USB-C and a SATA controller. I'm just gonna pop this right back in. So the four screws that connect the enclosure to this tray also mount to the hard drive to keep it in place. So we can just take this cover, slide it right back in. And 
then we'll put the mounting screws back in here.